Hi, I'm Brad. I'm going to show uh, Linda here how easy it is to turn this beautiful pen. Uh, made with the Rockler 7mm pen kit and this pen blank right here. It's going to be unbelievable. Uh, first of all, you have to take your blank and find the center of it, which is two and three quarter. And then you want to put a line on there to make sure you keep the grain matched after uh, you cut your piece. Uh, now we'll head her over to the chop saw and cut it in half. Always remembering safety first. And now for our next step, we'll be marking the center for the drilling part of it. And you take a small square and mark corner to corner with an X on both pieces. And then head to the drill press, drill these out. Here you go, Linda, why don't you go ahead and drill those? Okay. Glasses. And you do want to make sure that you drill halfway down, bring it back up, eject the chips, and then drill the bottom all the way out so you don't get blow okay. out. Okay, and now it's time to uh, assemble our parts. Uh, first off, you want to take some sandpaper and rough up your pen tube. And with a little CA glue and a rotation on your block, Put a little glue inside there. Insert the tube with the same type of rotation. Get it down into so it's flush on the end. And we'll set those aside and let them dry. Linda, hand me the ones that we already did. Your next step is to take a tube cleaner and it squares off the end and also reams out the tube for the extra glue. Make sure you do both of them and we have to get down in until you see the shiny brass and then assemble it onto the mandrel which you take two spacers a piece one bushing, your other piece with a bushing and then the mandrel end, making sure that uh, your last bushing goes out into the thread so you can tighten this down and then it's time to turn it on the lathe. Put the mandrel in the lathe, bring up your tail stock, tighten her down. that down, put your tool rest in just a little bit below center, make sure that it spins freely, and we're ready to turn. Alright, there you go, take a shot. Should be okay. pretty simple. 
This the light pressure. Even. And just run the length. Perfect. And a little light pressure to try and get the edge off the square block. Okay, then uh, go ahead and shut it off. Make sure uh, that you got all the square edges off. Okay, looks good. Just need to turn it down just shy of the bushings. Okay, it looks like we're down to the bushing. Uh, go ahead and shut the machine off and it's time for some sanding. Just move the okay. tool rest out of the way and then we uh, sand uh, in succession starting with 150. You can uh, go ahead and... and... This is the 150? Yes, ma'am. Okay, that looks finished. Now we can move on to some micro sanding. We have uh, 1500 grit all the way down to 12,000 grit. This is uh, really going to polish it up nice. Go ahead and start with the 1500. Okay, looks like it's time to put on a little finish. Uh, just a little dab will do, go uh, from end to end. And then the final step, a little dry buffing and we're good to go. Okay, now that it's polished, it looks like it's time for pen assembly. Go ahead and loosen the tailstock. And you can knock the mandrel out. Okay. And with the pen assembly, you want to make sure that you keep your wood parts in order so your grain stays the same way. And you press these parts together, making sure that you keep this in line. And there you go. And this is an important step. You want to make sure that your transmission does not go past the groove uh, once it's finally assembled. Here's your opportunity to match up the grain in the closed position and just squeeze it together. And there you go. Very Pretty darn nice. easy. Yes. You should be able to make that at home in no time.